Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are here this afternoon to announce that the St. Paul Federation of Educators, representing educational assistants, school and community service personnel, and licensed staff in St. Paul, have reached a tentative agreement on our contract with the St. Paul Public Schools. team all works in our schools full time so I can tell you that we are so excited to get back to our schools and students but there really is no work more important than making sure that our students our schools and our communities have the schools that St. Paul students deserve contract is only as strong as the people who are willing to fight for it. So for every educator, parent, and community member who brought us ideas, who stood next to us at the rallies, who worked on a work group to plan some of the contract language, this contract is all of ours. And not one or no one contract campaign can fix all of the things that we need for our students and for our educators. But I do feel strongly that this is one big step in the right direction and will get us closer to that work. I'm gonna pass it off to Holla Henderson, who is the Board of Education Chair for St. Paul Public Schools. Yes, my, <laughs> my name is Erica Schatzlein, E-R-I-C-A, S C H A T Z L E I M. I'm a full time teacher of English learners in St. Paul Public Schools, and I am SPFE's lead negotiator. Thank you, Erica. Uh, my name is Halla Henderson. That's H A L L A H E N D E R S O N. Um, and I'm proud to be the chair of the St. Paul School Board. Um, I'm, I wanna begin by thanking our two bargaining teams, um, our educators who have spent um, days with us at this point to, to get to the space, and of course um, the district, um, our district team, our superintendent, my fellow board members, uh, who have really put our time and our energy on the line to get to this point and to get to a place where we can, at the end of the day, say that we have reached um, a settlement that affirms our educators, that commits to, to building the future I think we all want for our students, and we all acknowledge that there is still work to, to go. Um, negotiations is, at its heart, an emotional experience. It's, it's frustrating. I think there have been a, moments throughout this process where I have been frustrated. Frustrated at myself, frustrated at where we are, and frustrated at what it will take to get to where we need to be. Um, and it also, I think, lights a fire within all of us to think about how we get there. There is a strong desire from both um, our, our educators and us, as well as from the district, to do what we need to do for students. That is why we are here. We are here because we care about the future of our students, and we know that it begins and ends with access to the best high quality education that we can provide. Um, so I am, I'm really proud of the work that we've been able to do. I'm proud of um, the commitment and the focus that we have, um, we have all collectively had to be able to get here to a, a place that is affirming for our educators and also um, provides, provides folks the supports that they need throughout the school day. Um, I've been, I've been sharing with uh, our team and I, I think with our educators as well that this is the first step. This is step one. The, the conversation and the work does not end at the bargaining table. And so it's a commitment from the board and from, from myself as a, as, a, as a person in this city who cares about the future of our, of our um, schools that we are in this fight with you all. We are in the fight to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to make sure this district has the resources to provide the education that we need for our students. Um, so proud of the work, proud of our district team, um, of our educators again, and really excited to get going. I don't have too much to add, but I'm Melvin Carter, M-E-L-V-I-N. <laughs> um, I don't have a whole lot to add, except uh, as the mayor of this city, 
uh, as uh, alumni of the St. Paul Public Schools, uh, as parents in our St. Paul Public Schools. I'm really grateful and proud of the work that our negotiations teams have done. Uh, they have worked really hard. Uh, they have worked through the weekends. Uh, as we were all tucking our kids into sleep this weekend, they were up till 4 a.m. Uh, on some of those days. 5 a.m., I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm being corrected by teachers. Show five. <laughs> up till 5 a.m. on some of those days. Um, I got a chance to check in with our negotiations teams on both sides. I got a chance to sit with uh, Superintendent Gothard and your team uh, in 360 and uh, Chair uh, Henderson. Uh, and also got a chance to sit with our uh, negotiations team with the teachers and uh, was struck by uh, the optimism that exists on both uh, sides. It's struck by uh, the, 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 the stick to itness, let's get this done, um, and left with this really profound gratitude that we have a whole lot of folks in our community uh, who are focused on putting our young people first. Uh, sometimes we have to work through how we organize our resources and how we uh, negotiate capacity limitations, uh, but uh, to all of you, uh, to all of you who are here, uh, certainly uh, Superintendent Gothard and uh, the members of the administration who are here, um, as a mayor, as a parent, as an alumni, uh, thank you for moving St. Paul Public Schools forward.